Good morning. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. You guys, I am uh, casting live from cold and chilly Colorado. In fact, I just I just finished my drink and I'm wishing I had more hot drink because it's cold and chilly here. <laughs> no. Good morning. Um, so team is there in Texas. I'm here in Colorado. We're gonna screen in both at the same time. So hopefully you guys know who who have like tuned in in the past or have joined us in the past, um, how that kind of works. So the hard thing is, is I can't see your comments. So I have to use my phone to try to see your comments because I love interacting with you. I love seeing questions that you might have. So if you see me looking down, it's because I have my phone right here. <laughs> um to try to catch your questions or comments or whatever so you're on that's good robin says hello from chile wisconsin she wants heat robin go to texas because it's like 103 there today <laughs> but here in colorado we are overcast very overcast so if my lighting's dark from here it's we're solid overcast it feels almost like fall which really excites me because the reason we come here is because we don't love the texas heat um dana says it's not summer in colorado <laughs> Colorado. Um, and I'm excited about that because that's exactly why I'm here. But when we're talking about like dresses, that's why I have you guys. I don't know. Can you guys even see? I've got slippers on because it's 50 something degrees in my room. I was tempted to put leggings underneath my dress and I had to use one of our bamboo wraps. I don't long cover uh, dusters, whatever this is from a million years ago, because I'm chilly, so I'm gonna do my best. I love it, I welcome it. I'm thankful for the chilliness because I'm headed back to Texas next week where it's 103. So um, Cheryl also says it's miserable in Jersey. So you guys, is anyone, is, are people hot? I know Texas is hot and know my staff there is like, Melissa quit talking about how cold it is here. Bring the cold weather with me next week when I go to Texas. So anyway, we are gonna go ahead and get started. I'll try, I'm gonna miss more of your comments than usual because usually I can see them in front of me and I can't um, with being here this way. So I'm gonna try to remind myself to like hop down and look at your comments. Um, but you might have to ask them a couple of times. But as usual, the staff is on. Um, good morning. So those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Melissa, owner and founder of graceandlace.com. We are a women's apparel company who design and make our own items to help you not only look good, but also feel good in what you're wearing. So today we have a new launch. Like I said, a little bit different than normal because usually I'm in Texas with the team, but we have some great things launching. Um, we're going to start actually, you guys, I've got like the mineral dress on, which we're going to talk about. I have a tank underneath us to make my changes a little bit faster. We have that. We've got our new skirt in two colors, athletic type skirt we're going to talk about. We have this nice kind of drapey um, crossover tank. And then we have this fun um, gingham top, which is perfect for the summer obviously as a lot of us are in warm places or some that are needing to get are about to get warm um this is a great option coming up so let's go ahead and get started with the um the mineral washed dress and i actually don't have notes in front of me because our printer doesn't doesn't work here so the team if i don't stay on track we might have to back up or they might have to correct me a little bit okay so uh two cut mineral hold on I, this doesn't help you to <laughs> I'm just gonna bear, I'm gonna bear with being cold here for a little bit um, for you guys. Mineral wash tea dress. Every couple of years we try to do a basic, easy t-shirt dress that is just so easy to throw on, comfortable to wear, nice and breezy, very drapey, great fit. And that's what this one is. Plus the mineral wash gives us this like casual easy throw on dress. So for those of you in the hot temps or those hot temps are coming your way and you're like, like Texas next week at 103 degrees, okay? Over there, they want as least amount of material touching their bodies as possible. This is a great option for that because it's loose, it's airy, it's flowy. And the best part about it is that mineral wash drapey. Okay, I'm gonna bring up for you, I both, I have the small on right now. I have the extra small here as well. Um, two colors in this. This is the washed navy that I'm in right now. And then this is, I think just, we just call it washed pink. Um, I hope you guys can see better than I see me because I'm blurry to myself, but um, it, 
all over the garment is all over washed, which gives it that nice casual look all the way down. We have the dolman size um, sleeved shoulder here. So no set in sleeve, some stitching details right here. It has the cuffed sleeve here on the arm, which is a tacked cuff, so it stays tacked and cuffed. Overall, it just really has this nice and easy casual throw on look. So if you wanted to like just tie something around the waist, if you're just running errands and out and about, and again, just really want that light and airy feel, this is it. Now, this is a cotton material, wash the heck out of it. So it feels so nice and drapey. There's nothing stiff about this at all. Look at the way it like hangs and flows. It has stretch in the material, okay? It feels like that, um, it feels like a t-shirt in your closet, like a cotton t-shirt that you have worn a bazillion, <laughs> worn and washed a bazillion times, and it just has that nice, soft and drapey feel, and the material does have stretch. So we're gonna say true to size in this, and I'm gonna bring the girls out in a second. Um, I'm between sizes. I'm between an extra small and a small. This is a small on me. Can you guys see me? I can't look at your comments if you can see me, but I'm hoping you guys can see the link. At 5'5", five five, it just comes to touch the top of my knee at 5'5", five five, which is a great length. Has a little bit of that shirt tail um, at the bottom, which just makes it that easy casual look. And again, the fit through the shoulders and bust, just nice and drapey, not meant to hug your body, not meant to be tight anywhere, just has that casual fit. This is a small, I love the small. I feel like be, being between sizes, I don't feel like this looks too big. Although it does have room um, for me. So I can go to the extra small to get a closer fit. I don't know that I necessarily have a preference. <laughs> um, one is just a little bit more looser. I don't know. You guys are going to want to see. Let's bring let's bring the girls out. Let's see what they're in. Um, who's first? Kylie, is she first? Oh, this is what I was saying. This to me is like the classic type t-shirt dress look. Okay. If you need the long sleeve or it's cool in the morning, it's cool in the evenings. Maybe for me, I'm wearing a sweater right now, but um, just tied around the waist, casual look. You can do sneakers. You can do flip-flops. You really don't need to make this be anything or really make it an outfit at all. Like it's its own outfit. Okay. So Kylie's in her normal size small and you can see, and she can take off. Kylie, can you take off the, yeah, just so you can see the drape. Nice, nice hanging drape does have great flow doesn't really pull not meant to be tight not meant to be fitted okay so stay in your normal size in this if between i would say you can size down if you do want a closer fit i'm going to show you the between on me when who's up next <laughs> not natalie natalie's got today <laughs> okay there we go denise um denise your normal size medium right medium okay <laughs> um medium on her and you can see just casual fit nice and flowy does not have real or any sort of we don't want this to be hip hugging we didn't really want this to be fitted just drapes really really nicely and does allow you to if you do need that layer or have that jacket on in the morning and evening you can tie that around the waist okay medium on her next is michelle in this For some reason i can't see your comments guys so i'm hoping I'm hoping I can get back to seeing them. Okay, there's Michelle. Um, Michelle in her normal size, extra large, and she's taller, so she's 5'11". So you can see a little bit shorter than her, but I wouldn't even say that that's too short. It still looks like a nice, casual, easy to wear dress, throw on for the summer months, um, looks fabulous on her, okay? So she's in the blue. I'm gonna try to see, I don't know why I can't pull up your comments, you guys. Where'd they go? I had them. <laughs> Um, any questions? Well, that's what I was just going to say. Was any questions on this? Let me see if I can reload. There they go. Okay. Oh, Kim says my my bedroom looks gorgeous. Thanks, Kim. Um, but Tina says it looks cute on you. Let me see if I can scroll. Yes, we can. Um, okay. But Tina says make it in a maxi, please. <laughs> Okay. Um, lots of people want to visit Colorado probably because they're hot. Um, I'm going to put on the extra small really quick for you. I'm just going to jump off screen so you can see this on me. So if you're deciding between sizes, I would say if you're straighter through the body, um, you can size down in this because I would really, um, hold on, let me show you how that goes. Um, you can probably size down in this if you're straighter, like if you're not as 
sphere if you have like a straighter figure keep in mind i have a perfect fit tank underneath this because i wanted to make my changes faster so it's kind of catching on my tank normally i would not wear a long see i've got the original long perfect fit tank under normally i would not do that um so it is kind of like catching on that a little bit but extra small I mean here so easily can wear both sizes. I don't feel like you know maybe you lose like uh, a half an inch in length in me going down, but at five five, sorry guys, <laughs> um at five five uh between you sizes, I can wear both. So the extra small gives me a little bit more of a fitted look. So if you're between and you prefer it maybe to kind of touch your curves a little bit more down through bust and down through hip um then size down or if you're between or if you're if you're straighter and you don't um have the curvy hips you can probably size down in this one as well okay any questions on this can i catch um sorry um laurel i wouldn't i would go with your normal size I would say you don't have to size up or down for bust in this. We really, because it's not a set in sleeve, it's stretchy. Um, so I wouldn't say like, if you're busty, I don't think you have to go a certain way. I would just say if you're between sizes and you want it to be a little bit closer of a fit to you, this is extra small me, you can see a little bit closer of that fit, then go down. If you're between sizes and you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, um, then go up otherwise stay in your normal size in this unless you're not curvy <laughs> and then you and you're straighter through the hip then you can probably size it okay all right we need uh beth says we need michelle doesn't she look great you guys i i've been telling her she needs to stop losing weight she was she looked beautiful she's always looked beautiful to say that but she um she is dropping sizes <laughs> so um she looks she looks she absolutely good. someone asked for her um weight loss plan what she's doing okay any other questions on this one if i'm missing it um you guys no erica we haven't yeah i really just started because i was talking about how chilly it is here <laughs> we are going to move on though to the skirt sport the athletic sport so last week we launched um our athletic shorts these this is a similar version to the shorts so same material so if you have the shorts and you're familiar with that um dry what do we call it not moisture wicking quick dry why do i always get that wrong okay quick dry material this is kind of that same type of style in that um you know i should have i thought i looked all pink with wearing pink and holding up the pink but you're going to be able to see the, the pink better so we'll deal with all pink here for a second um same similar style as our athletic shorts but now in a sport version okay so you have that quick dry nice it is kind of the moisture wicking doesn't it's quick dry it does not hang on to moisture that athletic -y type surface material you have the large yoga style extended waistband that has great stretch okay so really really stretchy nice and comfortable okay no top elastic in this no digging into your waist really really nice stretch there it has a back same as the shorts it's got that back pocket here in the back that you can put like a key in a credit card in your earbuds whatever something kind of nice and small that you want to keep in there and then on the front of these, the front of the skirt has two zippered pockets here on the side. So it's got the zipper dropped down to a very light mesh interior pocket in this. Again, we try when we, we try to add pockets on everything we can add pockets in, but we don't want them to add bulk at the hips. We don't like to see pocket bags at the hips, <laughs> those things. So we when we can add them, we try to. So it has the little mini zipper here, you guys can see. And then you reach in here to the pocket um, and then it's that light, lightweight mesh. Okay. Now the inside of these, just like the athletic version of the shorts is the athletic biker shorts built in underneath. So same as the athletic shorts, just a skirt version of these has the same cell phone pocket here on the side nice and deep pocket here on on the thigh 
um, so that you can put a phone in. You can wear this for walks. You can wear this for golf. You can wear this for tennis. You can wear this for pickleball. You can just wear this being out and about. I should have named this the Denise skirt because I feel like this, she would totally, this is her style. Like this is like, you can throw this on with a t-shirt. You could style this up. You could do it athletic, like if you're going on the walk and you want like a longer bra or a bra or something like that. But really it's an easy style to wear, but still be very, very covered. Um, and you guys, the thing, the thing about it is a lot of times I don't, if I'm like doing a lot of walking, I'm not going to want to be in a skirt because I don't like my legs rubbing together. And so for me having this built in long, nice long, I think we're close to probably five inches, if not five inches here on the inseam to have that layer underneath for all those athletic things or just being walking. Like if you're going to like the farmer's market and something, you know, you're going to be walking a lot. Um, and want that coverage, you've got those shorts hidden underneath these. Okay, questions on this? Bear with me as I'm scrolling. <laughs> um, do tennis balls fit in the, oh, do tennis, did we test that? I think we did test that. Didn't we, can someone, I don't know. Can someone, thumbs up, we did test that. Yes, you can put tennis balls in here. I do not have one handy. <laughs> If I did, I would show you. I feel like we did test that. So yes, you can you can shove a tennis ball in there. Or you can always, I know what my mom sometimes does if she's not wearing like her real tennis is she just like puts it under. They've This in general has great stretch. So you can just kind of sneak it under the leg. I'm going to throw these on really quick. Actually, I'm going to do this while I'm staying on camera, I think. Bear with me. <laughs> um, so I can kind of show you a little bit. I can show you a little bit. I totally inverted these inside out. Okay. Um, I can show you kind of how these fit and look a little bit better. So, <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to look. Wait, no, hold on. One second. Hold on. Here we go. This is why I did this, you guys. <laughs> this is why I had a tank on. Although it's going to be really munchy right here as I try to show you this. Okay. So, functional zippers here at the side. Okay, so you can zip those up, keep those closed if you're not going to use those. If you are going to use those, you can easily put, you can put a phone in there. Okay, if you did not want to come here, this is where you can come and you can put a phone. I was going to drop my phone in here to show you, but I'm scared I'm going to mess up the fact that then I can't read your comments. Okay, um, so stretchy, nice, comfortable, nice and high waistband. The best thing about this is that you have that comfort of wearing like a skirt but you don't have anything digging, nothing giving tension right here in the waistband. Like it just has that nice, easy, comfortable yoga waistband feel. Okay. Now I'm between an extra small and small. I did put on the extra small, which is the size that I prefer. I would probably go by whatever size that you, this is the easiest way to say this. If you have the shorts from last week, you've gotten those already. Um, I would go with the size that you like in those because they I'm gonna say they fit very similarly. Okay. If you're more narrow through the hips, you can probably size down in this one. I'm between an extra small and the small. I do prefer the extra small. Um, I think it fits me perfectly through here. I the shorts, which is the same size I like in the shorts there. That's easy to say. So I like the extra small in the shorts. I like the extra small in the skirt. So that's an easy way to tell. If you don't have the shorts yet and you're getting the skirt, I would stay in your normal size unless your between sizes go down. And then I would go by your hip measurement next. So if you're not, if you're straighter and not as hippy, you can go down in this one. Okay. So it's made to allow, and the outer layer does have a little bit of stretch as well. The inner layer obviously has great stretch. This is where I was saying that if you didn't want to reach all the way up here to put like a tennis ball or I don't know what else you would need to put in here, you can lift the thigh as well. I feel like my mom would just like pop it in there. <laughs> and she's like, this is her style. This is what she lives in. I was like the first one to tell and show my mom this because my mom is like, this is her, this is what she lives in every day. Okay. Um, questions, any questions on this? Let me see and scroll. Let's bring the girls out. Kylie's in this. Susan said, I just re received and tried on the athletic shorts. They're amazing. Um, so both athletic shorts, she said both shorts are going to be in her cart. Thank you for designing this. Yay, Susan. Okay, so Kylie in this, look at, doesn't she look adorably so 40? Like, I mean, perfection, okay? Size small in the skirt. 
She's got the belt bag on. She has the tank tucked in. She's got a pair of sneakers. She has her little water bottle and drink on him. Like this is a, this is a thing. Like this is if you want like if you're an athletic type of girl, even if you're not playing sports and just want that casual type of look, this is the way to do it. Okay, Kylie and her normal size, small in that. Um, let's see. Denise in this one. Denise, are you in medium? Okay, her normal size, medium, and this is the size you prefer, right? Okay. Nice and stretchy, nice and comfortable. Just throw on with a graphic tee. You can knot it up a little bit. You could do a shorter crop tee with this. You could do a tank. You could tuck it in. I mean, so many endless options with this that just make this easy for everyday wear and not necessarily have to be athletic or playing a sport <laughs> in it. Okay. And then Michelle next in this one. Um, Deborah says she can't wait for the new belt bag. Okay. Here's okay. Michelle in that. Oh, is she showing? What do you? What is? Is that a tennis ball? Oh, <laughs> what is it? A, uh, is it a Christmas ornament? Okay, <laughs> I think it's a Christmas ornament, but it's probably used to stand in to be a tennis ball. Okay. Adorable. Michelle, are you in large or extra large? Large. She's in size large, um, which is really what her true size is turning out to be right now. Okay, adorable. Love it with the denim jacket. So cute. Okay, any questions on this? You can see that she should. So use the Christmas ornament as a stand-in for a tennis ball. <laughs> so that's how that happens. Um, Betty, yes, I can put on a small for you really quick. One second. My size small is only, I only have the black, the other color in the size small. This might be a little bit hard to see me. I'm sorry, guys. My lighting here is hold on let me just double check really quick what this is no shoot i only brought two extra smalls hold on uh-oh that was my mistake if these are both extra small hold on let me just check ah crap i brought two extra smalls sorry guys i packed i thought i brought one of each size i'm sorry they're both extra small I, I literally thought I brought one of each size, so that doesn't help you. I'm so sorry. Normally, I would. I have one of each size. I have one of each in the dress, one of each in everything else, but I accidentally grabbed two extra smalls in these, so sorry. Guys, I um, the extra small, I don't prefer because of my hip. It just gives me more room. It gives me more room um, in my hips than what I need in my hips, so I don't prefer the... Um, the extra small in these. I mean, sorry, the small in these. Any other questions? Sorry, guys. I, I thought I was going to be able to help. <laughs> sorry, Betty. Missed that one for you. Um, the two colors in these, I forgot to have uh, the color. I think we call it, do we call it dried rose? Okay, we call it dried rose is this one, which is just a really pretty kind of um, dusty pink. I feel like it is showing up correct, at least in my stream that it is and then of course the black so whether you do fashion color whether you do the neutral whether one is preference for you or whether both you have two really good reasons to have a fabulous skirt okay let's move on to i'm gonna try to check for questions again i'm moving on to the crossover right am i right crossover Crossover, is it called summer crossover? Why am I forgetting the name? <laughs> okay, crossover tank, there we go. Um, now, we designed this, for those of you who have been with us a while, remember our um, snow day, which I probably should wear today, maybe our, our snow day top that had that kind of surplus crossover, it had a hood on it. It is one of my absolute favorite styles that I've ever made. Um, I own every single color. I have every single color here in Colorado. It's literally my favorite thing to wear, to put on with a pair of leggings, wear around the house or whatever, okay? We kind of designed the style after that a little bit in terms of having that same type of crossover and drapey style look in the front. Um, it does have a snap here at the bust. So you can use the snap for closure if you want. If you don't need the snap for closure and you want to layer this under a tank, layer this under a brami, just have it sit open, you can absolutely do that. For those of you that are nursing mamas or know anyone that's expecting, this is a great top <laughs> for that. I remember 
being pregnant with all my kids and nursing and wishing that I just had a top that opened like this. Well, okay, so nursing mamas, this is great for you, but really, really pr pretty and flattery draping top. And it does, like I said, have that closure to use on bus. This is made out of our famous perfect pocket tee material. So you know what that material is, nice and stretchy, okay, nice and drapey, hangs well, has great stretch. Two colors in this. I want to say we call this one orchid, dusty orchid, orchid petal. <laughs> orchid petal. They're giving me tips. Um, orchid petal on this. And then for like the summer color of the year, everything's moving. You guys know that green has been a thing and it's moving into the highlighter green version. Limeade is what we call it in this color, which is like your perfect high summer hot weather green like that i mean it looks like limeade so if we called it that that's what i'm calling that it literally looks like that color um which is great for summer pops off a tan skin really really well both colors are great i mean i would just say if you're kind of like you know what i've got nothing in my closet like this nothing in this color this is a fun color it works really good with denim whether you're like dark blue denim blue denim light blue denim you can do white with this is really good black with this works really well and then if you're a purple girl we know we have a lot of you purple girls out there um this is a great one really pretty petally um purpley pink color okay true to size on this and because i'm going to say true to size because it's not loose baggy at the bust okay we really didn't want this to look super big and oversized we wanted this to have a nice fit on the body i can do the extra small or the small i'm going to put on the extra small first for you i'm just going to take keep my tank on to save time jumping off screen um and changing so i um can do the extra small or small this one i do have both sizes <laughs> in this one for here okay um this is the extra small oops did i just put my ground here we go and hold on let me hold on. i'm gonna jump off screen for a second i think this is probably hard hard to see um so hopefully this will be a little bit better to see okay do we have kylie in this one okay she's doing she's got like the athletic sorry my rug is folding underneath me and i'm scared i'm just going to lose it <laughs> kylie has small on she's got more of that athleisure look so this can be athleisure it does not have to be athleisure you can dress this up you could wear this with a skirt you could pair this with something floral on the bottom you can do a lot of different options with this but she's got the athleisure look look for you kind of to show that so the biker shorts she probably has a bra or a tank underneath it and she's in her normal size small Okay, you can see it just drapes and hangs really nicely. And then she has like the brami or the tank to kind of close up right here um, to kind of show that. Okay, so Denise, um, in your normal size medium, right? Thumbs up, yes, okay. Um, and so she's showing you the version that's not athletic. So, and then also not wearing anything underneath. You do not have to wear something underneath this. And that's what's great with having that snap there is that you can wear that, that can drape, it can hang just by itself and not have to have um something covering so it has that good modest coverage without needing an, a layer underneath it okay um and, and that was denise in her normal size medium um and then michelle in this one i'm trying to catch comments i can okay uh large or extra large michelle large okay michelle in a large in this one she's we're probably gonna have to <laughs> update update her sizing again um soon because i feel like she's just getting smaller and smaller these days but uh hangs and drapes well she's also a huge fan of the snow day that's like one of her favorite styles ever along with me so kind of having that drape and shape works great looks great with bust no bust looks fabulous on her okay questions on this i know cheryl she has always looked great in everything right it's just really flattering okay yes beth it is um you can see my back nice and flat keep keep in mind i still have my tank on to make my changes easier but it's just has that nice flat nice high coverage in the back so great thing about a tank like this is that you can wear a normal bra um 
and you don't have to have an underlayer. So if you're like somewhere in Texas where you're a million degrees and you don't have to have, I still have it because it made my change faster, <laughs> um, but I wouldn't need that there. I feel like I have nice, great, modest coverage and not need a tank underneath it. But of course, if you wanted to, or if you wanted to wear, you know, show off one of your Brahmies for those of you who have a bunch of Brahmies and wanted to kind of open this up a little bit more, I think that's so flattering. I think either way, it kind of gives you the option to play with this a little bit. So you can do the tank underneath, you could do a ribbed, you could do one of our ribbed um, perfect fit tanks. You could do a Brahmi, put your Brahmi's to use, right? Because <laughs> you don't need um, to come all the way down here. You know, I've just got a tank really wadded up underneath this, which is, isn't ideal. So open it up a little bit, put this on with a pair of linen pants. Okay, I just threw on Mel's faves, which I have here um, with me right now or and do the tank um do the layered look or bralette you could do a lace bralette under this or close it up and not put a layer um and don't need this <laughs> okay i'm trying to budget for you a little bit extra this is the extra small me and this is the size i prefer because i don't need a lot more room than this it is fitted at my bust um and you can tell it's fitted like at the back um for me but nothing is tight this is just how i prefer this to look on me um so i would say between sizes <laughs> i started my sentence between sizes can go down in this i would just be be careful if you're between sizes and busty that would be the only place that i would say um just to be careful of going down is you might split this open more than you prefer i'm not busty um so this you know the extra small works fine on me between sizes that would be the only kind of risk sizing down. And of course, if you were gonna wear it open like this, which some of you might and prefer to wear that, and it, um, between sizes and busty could definitely go down in this one. Okay, let me see if I can I can catch comments. Okay, Susie said, love the Brahmi underneath. <laughs> That's a great solution. If you're one of the ones that were able to snag the Brahmi, which you guys are, we were trying to make more as fast as we can um so this is a this is the some patricia just asked pauline asked for sizing um is the bust the same as the v-neck tees no the bust is the same as neither um it's going to be closer to uh you'll have to check to compare it's definitely not perfect pocket tee it's probably tighter than perfect v-neck tee it probably is most similar to the perfect um pocket tank that would be what I would compare it to the most, but you'll have to check measurements on that. But I would say perfect pocket tank would be what this is most similar to in terms of um, fit through the top, okay? Um, let's see, any question I'm trying to catch? Um, that was a good question, Renee. Thanks for asking that. Um, any other thing, did I bring out, I did bring out everyone in this. The only other thing would be is if you guys need to see me in the small, so this is extra small. I'll throw on the small for you really quick. And the petal. Hello. So I can wear this one too still looks great fabulous i don't have um you know i've got a looser bust um fit through here and then a looser sweep through the bottom but i think it still looks really flattering i can open this up if i did want to open that up and get a drapey kind of type of fit in this and then the back um you can see like i'm not i'm much looser um, have a comfortable fit i mean both are comfortable on me but this one just offers a little bit more room through my hip by going up, by being between sizes and going up. Um, does this help? Is this, is this helpful for you? I hope this is helpful for you. Um, so I prefer the extra small um, in this one, but I don't feel like this one looks too big or anything. Okay, let's see. Um, no questions on this. Oh, Lynette, this us brahmi less people aren't salty over here. Um, we threw, we sold through thousands of those way fast, way faster. I did not even think we were going. So we are back big time <laughs> and making more of those. So those of you who missed out on the Brahmies, 
uh, never fear. We are doing our best to, to come. But yeah, for those of you who do have one, sorry for people a bit salty about that. Um, this is a great solution because you don't want to do what I'm doing here and have like a lot of, I have, I have the original, I have this on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't need this extra material. That's from me. If I had one here, I, that I would do that <laughs> for you to show. But you, this is a, a great situation, a great scenario of where you don't need all that extra bulk at your waist, and it's perfect with like more of a, a crop tank look underneath that. Okay, um, Erica, it's not fitted in the hips. I would not call it fitted in the hips. It's nice and loose. It's meant if this was fitted in the, the hips, it would pull this part, it would pull this too far. We wanted this just like the snow day to have this nice kind of flowy drape. So this is a great body for those of you a little bit more like don't love to show your midsection like myself. Okay, that's kind of a problem area for you. I that was one reason I really, really love the snow day is that it disguises all that. Okay, so it hides all that really well. So it's not fitted through the hips. We didn't want to get, um, you know, to something that looked like this. We really want that to have that drape and flow coming down from the bust and give that coverage here for those of you who, you know, like and value um, that coverage in that area. Okay, any other questions on this? That was a good question, Erica. Let me see if I can catch anyone else's um love the snow day tiffany no other colors are coming in this this is just the two that we made in this style um perfect for the summer summer months okay let's move on to the gingham top um i was just thinking i don't think i was just trying to think back i don't think we have ever done a gingham style before and that's that's a problem we need to do gingham because it's classic it's timeless it's one of those things that will never really go out of style, um, which makes it so great, especially in the summer months is when you kind of want to pull that out. So whether you do it with like white or a clean jean or whether you do this kind of a distressed look, we took that style of the gingham type of um, classic style and made it into just a fun, nice and kind of trendy fit. In the trendy fit though, we keep things in mind that are important to you like bra friendly okay so we did these large kind of it's that um it's that kind of is it called seersucker i don't even know if that's the right word okay but it's cotton and it has a texture to the fabric it's all smocked here but gentle smocking we did not want to do that power hold in the smocking right here and then of course kind of stick with the look of the style but still offer you bra coverage and we know for some of you that uh, having adjustable straps is important. So we have a button, a three button, let me see. Let's see if I can show you this. We have a three tiered button closure option here in the back. So you can adjust these straps. Can you guys see that? Can you see that there's, there's three button holes right here? So you can choose the level like i'm putting it at the the lowest which is the longest um and then this one's at the shortest and then there's one in the middle okay so it gives you that ability um we know it's important to you we know that you, we know you've expressed before that you love it when you would prefer things to be adjustable so we did our best to create a style that's adjustable for you okay um and let's see i'm gonna put these on for you now i messed up the straps on this so let's see I'm going to put on this one that I have. What size is this one? This one's a size small. I think I need to be in the middle. Let me try. I might need to adjust this. And if I need to adjust it, um, I'll, be able to, I'll be able to show that. Okay, one second. Let's bring out Kylie. She and this in her normal size small. Okay. Size small on Kylie. Look how cute this is. Whether you do it with shorts, whether you do it with jeans, whether you do it a cropped fit in style, this really just has all that kind of cute look of that classic gingham um, type looking material. Okay, so she's got a size small on. I have a size small on as well. Okay, and then it just kind of drapes and flows, but it is cotton. So you really get that like nice stretchy, 
here. We wanted to create, you can kind of see on her and you can see on me. We wanted to give you good coverage here at the bust. So you can tell that it like, it kind of goes up and then comes down to um, under bust, okay? So Kylie in a small, I am in a small as well. I think I prefer the extra small um, just because I don't, I don't really have much, like I need to, I need to be using a little bit more stretch in this, um, but I can put that one on, on as you can see as well. Okay, Denise in normal size medium, right? Okay, so just kind of, it just, it just has that classic, doesn't this look fine? I mean, I would do shorts. I just had these on, but I, you could do shorts, you could do white jeans. Denise has it on with a, the cutoff shorts. You can kind of dress this up if you wanted to dress it up. You can kind of just really just make it casual and just make it a fun gingham top with a pair of shorts. Okay, so medium on her, really easy to wear. Um, I'm gonna go to extra small on this so you guys can see. Extra small on me as well. And then Michelle's coming out in this. Okay, Michelle, large or extra large? Extra large in this one. Okay, so she can kind of flop back and forth, obviously. This one does, um, when you size down, obviously the smocking does get um, a little bit more fitted when you size down. So that would probably be, if you're busty, that would be maybe where you would want to be careful sizing down, which is probably why she stayed in the extra large in this one. Okay. Oh, questions in this. Let's see. Um, I'm seeing yes to more brahmies. <laughs> Uh, Christina says, I was on the fence when I saw this up on the website, um, but seeing it on Mel has sold me on it. <laughs> um, let's see, cute, uh, cute on Kylie, love this on everyone, looks great, very flattering. It's one of those, like, you know, sometimes in the summer you just need that cotton style, okay? Breathable cotton peplum, very, very flattering shape through the bust. Now, I did go to extra small in this. I lost a little bit of length, but honestly, I don't feel like this is too short. It doesn't move anywhere. Doesn't show any midsection. Okay, and I could, um, if I wanted to, I could extend the straps out a little bit further to drop this down a little bit lower. But honestly, I love the way, I think just this classic cotton material has kind of that seersucker type look and shape and fit. Um, it's so, 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 so cute. So can you see that? <laughs> I mean, um, extra small is what I prefer in this one. So between I would go down um, and less busty. That would be the only thing is you might get a little bit more snug through here if you're busty than what you prefer. So any questions on this one? Got to go back to my phone so I can see. Uh, Cindy says she can't do smocking. Cindy, why can't you do smocking? Our smocking is the best smocking because I hate smocking out in the boutique world. I'm just going to say it. How China does smocking in their own patterns, it's terrible. It's much too tight. It's uncomfortable. It's itchy. Okay. And all the other million reasons why when uh, we do smocking, we do much better. We don't, we don't like tight smocking. You want the look of this feeling like it's close to your body without being like, Okay, so this we allow for it to be just nice and gentle smocking where it doesn't feel like it's digging in and it doesn't feel like it's, you know, tight and uncomfortable. But it gives you what the smocking does is give you that really, really pretty flattering fit down through the bust in the waist. A lot of times some people who are busty say, you know, that they don't, styles can tent off their bust, not give them great shape. For those of you who like where your waist is maybe your feature and like showing that off, that is where this style really comes in to be super flattering because it does shape the bust without giving you a powerful control hold and then just kind of skirts out um, at the waist, um, like peplum waist on this, okay? Honestly, if, you, if you've never done our smocking, you need to try it. <laughs> you can try our smocking. Would you compare this top to the fit ooh, of the jumpsuit? Which jumpsuit? Kelly, I'm trying to think of what jumpsuit you're asking about. Um, I don't, uh, oh, the smock jumpsuit. That's what you're, oh, yeah, the smock jumpsuit. Um, Kylie or Amanda or anyone there, can you help me on that one? This one's maybe a little bit more. Yeah, maybe not as loose 
through, I think I just heard Amanda, not as loose through the bust as the smocked jumpsuit. Is that right? I think I heard Amanda say that, that that was right. And that's what I think I'm gonna go with, okay? Melissa, yes, I agree on larger busts. Very, very flattering for sure, okay? Um, any other questions on this? Last thing is the bangles are back. Uh, these sold out super quickly um, in the gold and the silver. So this is kind of the stack. We get questions. I just tend to throw these on the models a lot and I throw these on me. Um, a lot when I'm doing try-on stories. The bangles have four, they come with four bracelets in one. Two are wider and two are thinner. So you can kind of like, you could wear a wide one and a thin one if you wanted. If you want to just wear the two wide one, you can stack these with your normal bracelets. And they're what I love about them is they're in the brushed gold and brushed um, silver in color. So um, they're not shiny. They're not, they don't stand out. They pair with other jewelry really, really great. But I love that they're brushed. I do not love bright, shiny gold, um, especially if it's like chunky on my my wrist um, like that. I love that it's brushed. So those are back on the site. And I think, is that it? Did I get everything? Did I miss anything? <laughs> I'm gonna be putting on back, putting it back on my sweater. If you have any questions that I didn't get to, obviously, because I'm not seeing them at the same pace that I'm normally see, normally seeing them. Um, jump on our Facebook VIPs, our Grace and Lace um, Facebook VIPs, and they can help you there. Um, I don't see any other questions, so I'm going to sign off and go put um, my cozy. <laughs> and put my slippers back on. I will be in Texas with the team next week. Um, I will be in 100 degrees then and really wishing that I was back here. Um, other than that, let's see. I think we have um, one, if not two. It's all going to depend on arrivals. We've had a lot of stuff delayed for one reason or another, whether it be in shipping or be in production, not a lot of stuff, a couple of things um, that have delayed things a little bit. So there may or not be a launch next week, but I think there's one, depends on, on if the product gets in or not. There's just, there's either one or two left of the summer and that's it. And then we get into July and then before we know it, we're here with our fall, which is arriving very soon and so crazy to think about. So if you have any more questions on this, make sure to go ask that over on our Grace and Lace Facebook VIPs um, page and the team can help you out there. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in today. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of the day and weekend. Bye.